In this video, we'll talk about escaping the busy trap. Being overwhelmed results in burnout. This produces a condition where the individual feels mentally and emotionally and physically exhausted. The feeling occurs when you feel overwhelmed and aren't able to keep up with demands. As a result, chaos also factors into the equation and the missing element once again is focus. The feeling of being persistently overwhelmed can easily cause you to lose interest as well as motivation and bring on a state that leaves you feeling powerless, helpless, and extremely worn out. Once again, you may be trying to do too much, much more than is realistic to handle. When talking about burnout, remember that it's not mere exhaustion that you experience. It does not merely affect your performance, but every aspect of your life. For instance, work may become unbearable, but you will also lose interest in almost everything else that you do. Fun stops being fun while every significant thing starts to bother you. In a state of burnout, this feeling does not go away, but sticks around on a regular basis. In fact, staying in this forlorn condition will likely make you believe that there is no alternative or getting out of this mess. So, how do you get yourself out of this rut? You turn your attention to focus. The what, why, and when formula will come in very handy when you feel overwhelmed. Sort out issues by focusing on what's important. Figure out why it is so and when to deal with it. Once you have the answers to these simple questions, you can at least start to untangle the web of feeling overwhelmed. However, the problem with feeling overwhelmed is that it's not always possible to identify the burnout yourself. Experts recommend that when you feel distressed, seek out help from friends, family, and others that you trust. They can not only give you an outside opinion, but may also be able to help you by citing examples of why they believe you may be burnt out. Once you have identified the trigger for your woes, be prepared to make some serious changes. This effort will take a lot of focus on your part, as you will not only have to make serious changes, but also stick with them for a while. The bright side to this entire episode is that once you start making the shift, you should start to feel more motivated again. A good place to start is by focusing and working on some of the following. Cut off the source of the burnout. Where possible, shun the trigger that's causing you to feel overwhelmed. Job-related burnouts often happen from too many hours working and too little personal time. Try to be healthy. Being overwhelmed can easily take a toll on your health, so engage in some form of physical activity to give yourself a break. While taking a break may sound counterintuitive to focusing, the idea is to shift the focus from the cause of the burnout and redirect focus on taking care of yourself instead. Eat well. Focus on taking care of yourself by eating a little better than before. Chances are that being in a burnout state, you also neglect your diet. After all, the first thing most people reach for when overwhelmed is an abundance of junk and convenience foods. Chuck these out and refocus on what will make you feel better, both on the inside and out. Sleep better. Last but not least, a burnout will bring forth long-term exhaustion with it. The simple coping mechanism for this issue is to focus on getting both good quality and quantity of sleep. When you want to get out of this despondent state, remember that focus is the one thing holding everything together. It's this ability to concentrate on your well-being that will allow you to remove all the negativity out of your life. While you're in an internal state of being unfocused, things can go horribly wrong in the external world. Personal turbulence aside, the world keeps moving at its pace, continuing to bombard you with the daily grind, moving at a breakneck speed. With decisions and information piling up all the time, it becomes really hard to stay focused. And while you may not be able to detect so yourself, there are certain red flags that can identify the most common habits of unfocused people. They don't plan. It's very difficult to stay focused without a plan to execute. Unfocused individuals tend to work by whim rather than by strategy. They seem to get into things that they think might be important without really knowing why. 
On the contrary, people who focus on their goals have a strategy to execute and move progressively through their agenda rather than randomly. They lose track of time. If you find yourself running short of time on most of your tasks, you're probably not focusing on good time management. You may be getting too deep into things where it's not required and end up spending too much time on one specific task, which, with focus and planning, could have been allotted to multiple tasks instead. Being unfocused also makes the individual struggle with keeping track of time. They run late. Closely tying in with poor time management is the susceptibility of always running late. Unfocused people not only tend to mismanage time, but also exhibit unrealistic ideas about time. For instance, a common tendency is to have an unclear idea about how long it takes to get to places. It becomes norm with such people to miscalculate distances or neglect outside factors that may affect travel times. Another common scenario of being unfocused is when someone takes on a new project without finishing a previous one. The result is nothing but chaos where not many of the projects get done and the individual is left scampering to finish up while running behind on various tasks. They get easily distracted. People without focus are the easiest targets of distractions. That is to say that distractions are everywhere, some of them obvious, others not so much, but they do get in the way of getting things done. If you're not focused, then every time you switch or shift from one activity to the next, there's a time lag in between. For unfocused folks, this void can be easily filled by sneaky distractions like getting on their cell phone, playing Candy Crush, and even a simple conversation is enough to take them far away from their assigned task. Does that sound like something that happens to you a lot? If so, you need to work on your focus. They are messy, unorganized, and possibly even flaky. Being out of focus leaves its mark on the organizational skills of any person. Such people tend to be surrounded by clutter, unable to ever find what they're looking for, and suffer gravely when it comes to productivity. They are also unable to follow through on promises, tend to skip out on appointments, and are quite prone to canceling at the last minute. Unfocused people have a hard time committing and appear as flaky when they continuously fail to follow through. This not only harms their efforts, but can be disastrous for their reputation. They worry about everything. If you find that you worry too much or get agitated over every small thing, you need to redirect your focus and channel it on the things that are truly important. Learn to distinguish the substantial stuff from the unsubstantial and then focus on that alone.